hope you're having a great day, enjoying yourself, and ready for listening to another wonderful story. Today, we're reading A Southern Tale by Joanne McDougall. I hope you enjoy it. A Southern Tale On an island deep in the southern ocean, there lived a sea lion. Her name was Sammy. As light filled the sky, bringing warmth with the dawn, Sammy woke up with a stretch and a yawn. Her tummy then rumbled, expressing a wish that she leap in the sea and go find a fish. Into the waves she dove as they crashed against rocks, causing foam and spray to be splashed. Through tangles of kelp that surged with the ocean, she dodged past the fronts, so graceful in motion. Hunting for food was important each day, and Sammy swam far in search of her prey. At last she arrived at her favorite place, which was teeming with fish all ready to chase. Where sea currents meet, there is lots of good food. Fish eat the plankton and then are pursued. By various creatures, anything bigger would hunt down a meal with exceptional vigor. Penguins and dolphins and seabirds galore gathered for dinner and tried to ignore. The sea leopards lurking, awaiting the chance to grab a quick bite in this dangerous dance. Sammy was focused on scoring a snack, but should have been worried about an attack. For circling around, concealed in the dark, danger looked on in the form of a shark. Listening white teeth were sharp as a razor. He fancied a meal that was sea lion in flavor, and crept up behind her, shifty and silent. His plans for our Sammy were nasty and violent. Nearer he got, she smelled very tasty and brushed past her flipper, too careless and hasty. Startled, our Sammy shut off on the hunt. Three raced for survival, the fish out in front. Teeth snapped at tails, fins and flippers went swish as they launched in the hope of a flavorsome dish. They whisked with great energy, leaping and flying. They changed their direction, dipping and diving. While sea lions and fishes can corner with ease, the shark had great trouble with 90 degrees. His turn were too clumsy to keep up the pace. Being left far behind, he abandoned the chase. Sammy continued. The fish she desired had slowed a great deal and appeared to be tired. 
but it flurried and zoomed and was suddenly squiggling. Lost among others, all writhing and wiggling. Skillful and cunning, fish are not foes. They confuse any hunters by swimming in schools. The light on their scales made a glittery glimmer that dazzled our sea lion with silvery shimmer. But Sammy was a stubborn and wouldn't be beaten. The fish were right there, arranged to be eaten. Circling much closer, she exhaled with a burbling. The fish made a ball that was crowded and gurgling. Swimming much tighter, confused by her bubbles, they packed fin to tail and crammed in a huddle. With wide open mouth and the flip of her tail, Sammy shot forward, her plan couldn't fail. She swam through the middle, with whiskers a quiver. Chomp went her jaws, her snag was delivered. Chaos erupted as sea creatures fed on poor helpless fishes that tremble with dread. Penguins attacked and departed to feed. Dolphins and sea leopards joined the stampede. Bombarding the fish all as well from the air. A great many seabirds were taking their share. From this ocean of plenty, the predators dined, and the shark filled his tummy with all he could find. Sammy then surfaced her succulent fish was tasty and all that the sea lion could wish. The flesh very tender and bones she could munch. It had juices that dribbled and scales with a crunch. Contentedly full, she floated a while. It was late in the day. She was far from her isle. Her work had paid off. She completed her quest. It was time to return to her beach for a rest. So Sammy swam north. Quickly she sped, using strong ocean currents to push her ahead. The forest of kelp was eventually reached. Then she surfed through the waves and onto the beach. It was sandy and warm. A gentle breeze blew as light sparkled on water and albatross flew. Sammy lay dozing. She was active no more, lulled by the sound of waves on the shore. What an adventure! Good for Sammy. She got her prey and got back home on time for a rest. Isn't that amazing to think of all of those adventures going on in the sea? I really enjoyed reading this book with you today. And we'll see you again soon with another wonderful story.